My name is Gwyneth Poulens. I live in Amsterdam, the Netherlands, and I'm showing my work at the moment at the MIT List Center Visual Arts. The exhibition is called At Odds. I'm showing um, some sculptures, photographic works, and a woven piece and an acoustic sound work. Um, my idea for the exhibition started off with a kind of a thought or sense or idea about um, the du duality I experience in uh, myself as an individual and in people, but also within, let's say, society. And um, I wanted to work uh, with this duality and how it, this is something individual, but also something we share. And it's something that makes us kind of want to hide, but at the same time, we feel like we need to be present and uh, even stand up or revolt. So these are like the, kind of the underlying ideas for the works in general. And then each work has a specific um, interest or idea behind it. So I've been working with photography for a yeah, number of years. My interest in photography doesn't have so much to do with making images um, of reality, let's say, but much more with working with a kind of recording device or like with making a record of something and also with a certain performativity or um, being bodily very involved in uh, the process of making an image. In it I use uh, shields, like the materials I use I see as kind of shields for covering either uh, my body or actually the photographic paper um, so the light is obstructed. One of these shields is made out of uh, posters that come from the street and uh, my reason for this is also that I wanted to that I wanted to use a material that could actually emph emphasize the gesture and the directness of uh, making actually a shield for yourself or making something to protect uh, your body. The sculptures that are in the exhibition are very different. One is a woven uh, piece. Um, for, I've never woven a work uh, before, but I've, I've been uh, looking into the history of textiles. But also in, the, uh, in this specific case, because it's a liar's cloth, it's, I'm interested in the idea of the, or the mechanisms of lying and the communication actually that takes place within lying and translated this, let's say, in the, in the woven piece. So I, I'm trying to capture a fleeting moment. I try to make um, or really notice very carefully what is now and what we can kind of extend as, as, a, as a duration going further in the future, but also looking back at, at history. So the, the large uh, cloth piece that's hanging, that's dividing the space in two, there's just some, like a thread actually taking out that's a very precise and laborious um, uh, gesture to do or, or action to, to do. What I did afterwards is that I um, tried to make all the fingerprints or all the kind of handling of the fabric visible through a, a forensic uh, technique. I found out which technique I could use, which was very limited and very complicated to do. Um, and once I did this, I noticed also how that I actually cannot fix this um, this fingerprint so I can make them visible but they will always disappear so there's also kind of letting go in this making something apparent and knowing that it's that it will uh, change over time that, it's, that it will be go going away